Eastern's coach Adela Mrushe. As the late fears, the absence of Denis Oliech in the Kenyans' match against Nigeria in Nairobi next week will spell doom for the team. Amruche, who had 11 players to train at the city stadium today, was supported by Francis Kahata and Kefa Swani, who committed themselves to work extra hard to ensure the star males and super eagle swings. With each passing day, the responsibility on the shoulders of the national team Harambe stars continue to be heavier. Heavier in the sense that, other than the impressive one all draw against Nigeria in Calabar last month, a lot more is needed from their boots of these players and their team of coaches. Their morale was further boosted by announcement by FKF that their players' daily allowances have been increased from 3,000 shillings to 10,000 shillings per day. A gesture that did not move coach Adel Amruche, who insisted that authorities should stop reacting. He, however, remains optimistic that Kenya can better Calabar's performance. This is what we want. Make happy now. The, f the first, make happy the, the people. Because now, all the Kenya people start to believe for this team. But more pressure will be on Francis Kahata, the scorer of the memorable goal against the African champions. But he, like Kefa Aswani, who appears to be suspended Dennis Olej's replacement, is not under any illusion. Ina pressure yote juu na juu ni kazi yangu lazima ndafanya nimekoga nikicheza nimekoga nikifunga so kwa sasa hii ni chance nyingine nimepata of which ningependa kuiwa kia hard fan lazima tutakuwa expect as in improvement uh, kubwa kutoka kwetu hasana hasa sana kwangu kwa as in hiyo game nilimekuja kufungia Kenya na Free Kick KPL has rescheduled Premier League match between Gormahia and Tusker FC to allow the national team, which is said to move its training to Naivasha, humble training time. Joshua Kimboy, KTN Sports Today.